Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. We're gonna talk about downstream injectors. So my downstream injector has this little bypass. This is actually the injector right here. You can see the uh, hose going in. Um, pressure, the pressure washer water comes out of here. If this valve is open, it comes out bypassing the uh, downstream injector. When I shut this, it cuts the water off, causing the water to come up and around through the injector, and then I get soap. Most of the time, I just leave it off. Don't use the injector too much, but when I do, it's right here. Now, to explain the injectors better, I have a couple backups that I have um, and show you how it works. So, there's a little spring and ball in there. Uh, crap, did I lose my spring? Probably. All right, so here's the spring. If you look, that little nipple comes off. The first thing that goes in, well, actually, let's do it this way. The ball goes into the nipple first. Like so. So that little ball goes in there. And then the spring goes on top of the ball. <clears throat> on top of the ball. And then this goes like this. Tighten that down. And then the ball and spring are right inside here. So, if you take yours off, you're going to have the ball in there, and then the spring is going to be somewhere right in here. So, this is the way it's supposed to go. Spring down in there, and ball in here on top. <clears throat> there you go. And that's how that's done. Sometimes the ball gets stuck up in here, so you have to get something and poke it out. You know, you'll feel it. You'll feel it bouncing. So sometimes that gets stuck. So if your injector is not drawing, sometimes just literally you don't have to take it apart. Just poke it, put some lube in there. I like the white lithium grease that works really well. And you're good to go. So, the way these work though is uh let me pull this one apart so you can see the way these work is you can see this one's old but the arrow is pointing that way right so that means the water is coming in this end and going out this end so whatever way you have your hoses is the way you're going to put your quick connects on all right mine's like this so the water comes in and out this way right here there's a little orifice and this is a 2.1 I don't know if you can see it but it's a 2.1 all right that's the size of this hole I use a 1.8 injector I think this is a 1.8 and the hole that the water goes through is a little tinier now there's also Here's a uh, 2.3 injector. That's one of the bigger ones. The three I know about from General Pump that I always get and I have is the 1.8, the 2.1, and this is a 2.3. All right, so the hole is bigger. But the bigger the hole, the less chemical it's going to draw because more water is allowed to pass through. When you restrict the water flow, it causes more of a suction. So... The 2.3's got the biggest hole. It's going to draw the less amount of soap. And the 2.3's for the 5 to 8 gallon per minute. So it allows more water to get through. What I do is I put a 1.8 on mine. And the hole is uh, much tinier because it draws more soap. But it also restricts more water. So that's how that works. So you have, like I said, you have your 1.8, you got your 2.1, and you got your 2.3. The smallest hole is the 1.8, mediums the 2.1, the biggest hole is the 2.3. Less water is coming through here, more soap. The most water is going through this one, causing less soap. That's why this one's for the 8 gallon a minute. It allows more water to pass through. This one's 2 to 3 gallons a minute. But if I put this on my 8 gallon a minute, like I usually do, it draws a lot more solution. 
So depending on what you got, what I recommend is maybe getting a couple of each. If you have a two to three, you want to use the 1.8. If you have a five to eight gallon per minute, you want to use the 2.3. And then if you have four or five, you use the 2.1. Like I said, I use the smaller because that's pushing less water through, which causes this to suck harder, getting more SH or soap, whatever you're using. So, and they also have the dual injectors. This is a, uh, I believe a 2.1 and um, it draws from both. It works, um, don't really need it, but it's good to have. I guess if you wanna do one color marker on one side and soap on the other, and then you put little ball valves in the lines so you can turn on and off what you want, or you could just put them both in SH. Me, I like to use the 1.8 and it just draws the most. So that's how that works. Um, like I said, if you have a five or eight gallon per minute, you're gonna to wanna to use one of these two. I use the smaller one to draw more of a mix, not saying that's good or bad for your machine, but it definitely causes uh, a, a loud cycle when I turn my injector on. So if you guys have any questions, drop them below. General pump, high draw injectors is what I always use. And they come in different sizes. Recap, 1.8, 2.1. 1.8's for two to three gallons a minute. 2.1s for three to five gallons a minute and then the uh, 2.3 is for five to eight gallons a minute and this hole is much bigger than that one and which causes it to slow the water down turn this suction on higher this one will let more water pass but won't pull as much so so that's a little quick recap hope you guys uh learned something from that if you have any questions put them below take care